online greeting from me, David Bomert. I'm the Secretary General of CESAR, the strong and united voice of universities of science and technology in Europe. We unite uh, over 53 universities of science and technology. Uh, the topic you are discussing is of utmost importance to us as, a, as an association and certainly to our, to our members. Uh, we have picked up the idea of contributing to ecological, economic, and social sustainability a couple of years ago. Uh, we have held several workshops on this topic and issued some statements. And I'm delighted to inform you that it has become the central objective of our new work plan 2020-21, whereby the work, the activities, and the deliverables of over 600 volunteers and leaders from our members are all directed to the contribution of universities of science and technology to ecological, economic, and social sustainability. The topic you are discussing today, how to green international exchange, is of highest importance at the moment. The big question is, how can we assure that mobility becomes greener? Uh, this is a question from the universities, but it is also a question by, uh, by the funders, the funders of educational programs and of research programs. In the course of the next two years, we are investigating the modes in which we are contributing to sustainability and will engage in the discussion with the funders on how to assure that mobility of students, researchers, and other staff becomes greener. You may thus expect um, input from our side, food for thought on how to progress this agenda. I think the current context shows us that we can rather quickly switch to online working methods and uh, digitization uh, is making great progress uh, in our learning environments at the very moment. I have the strong feeling that we will not uh, lose these achievements that we are currently doing under difficult circumstances. I think overall, it is not a question of resources to contribute to sustainability. Uh, we have detected that the commitment and the awareness of leadership is a very first step. Based on that, there are many platforms and networks to engage with each other, to learn from each other, and importantly, to develop an institutional policy and to establish the structures that are needed in a university to truly contribute to sustainability. In addition to that, I think values are of utmost importance, and the debate on the values that we universities stand for and the societal effects that we would like to, have, uh, to contribute to is of highest importance. When it comes to the policymakers, a final thought. The European Union is at the moment developing a vision 2030 on the future of universities in Europe and beyond. I think it would be important that this vision is a vision for universities rather than on universities. And in this sense, it should enable us universities to act as agents of great transformation, to release unprecedented transformative forces to contribute to sustainability. We from CESAR look forward to working with you and other partners to make it happen in the years to come. Thank you.